Good afternoon. Here's the update at uh, 2 o'clock. By the way, I do read your comments. I report, uh, appreciate the reports. So we've had reports come in from the Portland area, Lebanon, Salem, up into Longview. Thank you for all of those. Um, also, thanks for the advice. I need to get a, a microphone to where that connects into my laptop. So when I turn, you can still hear me. And once the weather breaks and I can get out to the store, I will get myself one of those. <laughs> All right, I want to show you something that's amazing. You often hear us talk about temperature inversions, right? Cold air settles on the valley floor. It's warmer up top. That's what we have. And check this out. Two o'clock, 35 degrees of Timberline Lodge. It's low to mid 20s down in Portland. Mount Hood Meadows, by the way, Meadows and Ski Bowl both suspended operations today. Meadows is at 40 degrees, and if you go down and check out the um, ODOT camera, it's basically 41 degrees with the uh, ice and snow starting to break up on Highway 26. So there is warming happening up top, and there's also warming starting to come up to the South Valley. So now it's that timing of how long does it take for different entities, if you will, to start to erode the cold air that's in the gorge and spilling into the valley. And it's always a bit of a guessing game and often it takes longer than we forecasters think it will, as you know. But, but clearly we have erosion of the cold air base starting to take place. So that, that's pretty interesting. 40 up at government camp, 42 actually. 25 in Portland right now, that's freezing light mist. Salem's at 30. Now it has made it to 33 down in Eugene. Eugene has a bit of a south wind. Salem basically has calm winds. I think the temperature in Marion County will slowly nudge itself upward and I like your chances of getting up to 32 uh, later this afternoon or at least going into this evening. But no such luck for Portland and Vancouver. The wind direction is still east, and we still have east winds gusting well into the 40s out of Troutdale. So the North Valley, which is Portland, Hillsborough, Vancouver, we will stay locked in the 20s, I think, the remainder of today. And we'll stay locked in the 20s tonight into tomorrow morning. So that's the update on that. Um, I've tried to put together my thoughts on tracking a south wind, which is what you need to come up the I-5 corridor and finally warm us up. So south winds, again, Eugene is above 32. Salem, I like your odds of doing that as early as 5 o'clock this afternoon or at some point this evening. But Portland, as I just mentioned, will stay in the 20s through, I think, at least noon on Saturday. Remember, noon Saturday is when that second front comes in that will further erode the cold air, further hopefully weaken the east winds, and maybe, allow, maybe this is a maybe, 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 allow Portland and areas up near the gorge to finally get some warming tomorrow afternoon. There's reason to believe that Portland could get above freezing by late Saturday afternoon and then actually continue climbing, warming up to 40 degrees or so Saturday evening. Notice my question mark. Again, this is a guessing game. I wish it wasn't, but it is. The gorge because I'm just not seeing a strong replacement of the east wind, the gorge could still absolutely be icy into Christmas morning. And it's at least a possibility that Gresham and Troutdale and Camas and Washougal, that you folks will also fail to warm tomorrow and be icy into Sunday morning. So that's at least something that we're watching. This graphic is part of a post that I just made on my Portland Weather Facebook, part of my weather network and a good resource for you to check and do updates. So with all of that said, we have mostly light freezing rain or sleet kind of scattered light stuff the remainder of today. Now here's a problem. Precipitation is going to be picking up and getting heavier again tonight through noon Saturday when that front comes in. And there's at least the potential for areas that stay cold, which I think downtown Portland will. There's at least the potential that we pick up as much ice overnight tonight and tomorrow morning that we saw back on Thursday, you know, last night into this morning. So last night into this morning, reports were generally about a quarter of an inch of icing that was mainly sleet stacking up on surfaces. We could get at least that much again overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, and that would make the current icing situation even that much worse. Um, I think a lot of this, in at least near Portland and into the gorge, will still be sleet as opposed to freezing rain. So we'll watch that. And then if we warm up Saturday, that's the biggest question mark. I've, I've, now I've, I've lowered the temperature Saturday morning 25 to maybe 40 degrees. And that could be late day or evening before we start to get that warm. Whatever we end up with Saturday, I think we'll stay steady temperature-wise Saturday night. 
So hopefully we get up to 40, and then we're 40 when you wake up Christmas morning. And then Christmas is not that wet of a day. Just some scattered rain showers, 53 degrees, just like that. We're in the very mild air. Snow levels go up to 8,000 feet. Some of you have chimed in with flooding concerns. You always think about that, right, when you get a snow melt. I will tell you, oh, I wrote this down. Hold on. I will tell, oh, where's my notes? Yeah. Forecast models are showcasing the chance that we could have here in the valley two inches or more of total precipitation from two systems that come in Monday and Tuesday. So we'll be watching that carefully. That will come with six, seven, eight thousand foot snow levels. There will be some melting uh, of snow as well. Now by Wednesday, it's just some light scattered stuff. And then Thursday starts off dry and has a shower chance picking up. So if there is a time that we're going to be watching for the potential of any of our, it would be smaller streams, uh, maybe showing quick rises. It would be Monday, Tuesday. So we'll keep an eye on that. Okay, that is the update. Again, the headline, Salem, good chance of warming still later today. You're getting close. Portland in the deep freeze of the 20s into at least Saturday noon. Then we'll look for the first time, we'll look for warming in Portland slowly Saturday afternoon into the evening. It may or may not happen. I give us a chance to get up to 40. I give us a chance to stay at 40 Saturday night. I give us a chance to wake up Christmas morning nice and warm and get up to 53. Thanks for using this uh, YouTube page. Hit subscribe. Tell your friends. Again, my weather site's portlandweather.com, and I will talk to you soon.